Hey guys, welcome back to Coffee Break Investing. It's me, Chris. Um, and I just wanted to make another video today about the stocks that I've purchased so far um, uh, for May, my May investing uh, allocation. Um, and I want to talk about the stocks that I've bought in my DeGiro account so far this month. You can see at the top there, I've now got um, a total balance of almost £7,000. Um, I've invested 6,500 and I've still got 320 to allocate for this month. I'm just going to talk about, um, I'm not going to talk about too much about the fluctuations in my portfolio for this week. It's been a very volatile week. Um, but I might talk a little bit about the, the big changes that I've seen. So one thing I did notice this week was um, that Visa and Barclays are tussling at the top of my roster here. So actually Barclays became more valuable than Visa in my portfolio earlier in the week. Um, and now it's dropped back down to second. So there was a huge rally at the end of April where a particularly banking stock, so Barclays, Bank of America, JP Morgan and the, and the rest of them, they really rallied. Um, but actually, they've fallen back down a little bit, um, Barclays included. Um, but actually, Barclays came out with some good um, first quarter results, and they, they had a big rebound in their investment banking division. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm optimistic about Barclays. Visa is, is obviously just, got, is just a workhorse. Um, it, might, it might have some earnings pullback because of coronavirus, but I expect Visa to carry on being successful um, for as long into the future as I can possibly see, that's for sure. So the stocks that I bought this week, I can actually show you the transactions that I did. So I bought, so we're not going back as far as HSBC China, because that's just my ETF purchase. Um, I bought Kirkland Lake Gold, and I bought Unum Group or UNU UNUM Group, but we in the UK we call it Unum or Unum. I think we call it un, Unum anyway. <laughs> so both of these are on the New York Stock Exchange. I'll start with Kirkland Lake Gold. Kirkland Lake Gold is a Canadian gold miner, and they have active mines certainly in Canada and Australia. I'm not sure about anywhere else. I think it's like a medium to large cap uh, gold miner. I ran it through my stock screener on Simply Wall Street. It's coming out with fantastic fundamentals and um, return on capital employed and future growth potential. Um, slightly lower on the dividend and value side. But the reason that I'm buying gold again in these volatile uh, situations. I'm trying to diversify as much as possible. I'm diversifying across currencies, companies, countries, um, and even to this extent commodities. So this is my only exposure to gold. So it's a gold miner. My thinking on this is I'm expecting the whole of 2020 to be volatile and uncertain. And therefore, I'm expecting the gold price the gold price to increase because it's used by a lot of investors as a safe haven. And I'm not 100% sure if we're at the bottom of the stock market yet. We saw, I think it was March 16th, we saw an extreme low, but actually I'm not 100% sure if that's the bottom. Um, I think we could retest those lows. I think we could go lower. Um, and if we do go lower, the gold price I would expect to go up and therefore the earnings for a gold miner like Kirkland Lake I would expect to go up and also it just diversifies me into um, a gold miner which I, I don't I own um, I own other materials type companies and and other miners so I own some stock in Rio Tinto um, and I uh, I own some stock in 
ternium, as you can see there, is listed there. Um, so, yeah, so this was just to diversify me into gold. And also, I think in uncertain times, the stock price and the gold price should logically increase. Maybe it won't, but I just wanted to diversify into that area. Unum Group was a value play. As to be honest, Unum Group was in the first place when I first when I when I bought my first batch of shares in Unum Group, it was also a value play. Every well, investors seem to be thinking that Unum Group were going to be very hard hit by the coronavirus crisis. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm I'm waiting to see their earnings. I think the earnings come out next week. Um, so I'll be interested to see the earnings and also the reaction of the stock price. I'm not going to be selling it regardless of the earnings, but you know, who knows? They they are potentially exposed. They're a healthcare insurer in the US, um, and they provide employee benefits, uh, long term sick pay um disability pay that sort of thing so with with the level of unemployment in the us i ha i could not hazard a guess at how badly unum is going to be impacted by that um but the stock basically has gone down by 50 percent and i bought some more stock at 50 percent less than i bought the original uh, batch of stock in Unum Group and it's purely I'm um, dollar co cost averaging down I'm hoping that I'm getting a really cheap price for something that is actually valuable and going to be valuable in the long term um, but we'll, we'll need to wait and see a lot of these value plays at the moment are some of them are quite vulnerable um, I sold my airline stocks and I saw that at the weekend that Warren Buffett said that he had sold all of her, his airline stocks. I think if you're owning airline stocks at the moment, you those stocks are extremely vulnerable. Um, these airlines are going to need government ba bailouts for sure. The ones that don't get them are going to go broke. And the ones that even do get them, I think, are going to take years and years to recover and be like a viable business again. There's probably going to be consolidation in the market, companies merging. Um, but I mean, I'm staying well clear of airlines. I'm staying clear of cruise liners. I'm staying well clear of the air, air airplane manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus. Um, those are not on my watch list. I'm, I'm not going to be buying those stocks. But you know, insurance companies, banks, they ha they can have a lot of assets. They The reaction to um, the crises can be overblown. It can be worth the risk. Sometimes it's going to pay off, sometimes it's not. Unum Group is one that I am optimistic about. And I would, again, I wouldn't buy it with my own money if I didn't believe in it myself. So fingers crossed. I'm hoping that their stock rebounds and that they become a much more valuable, uh, they become, a, the stock price becomes a lot more valuable over time. Okay, those are what I've bought this week on my Digiro account. Tune in, um, and I'll let you know what my next purchases are. Um, I don't have anything, well, I do have a lot of things on my watch list, but I'm not 100% sure what my next stock purchase will be. Um, so watch this space. Cheers, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye.